Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Yeah, well. awesome. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh, what a pop. Watch out this car. She'll just get a five or six, she's gonna slam down. This is nice. Cheers. 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 I didn't drink it. Oh, it's so thick. I like it. I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Um, my name is Amanda, I'm gonna be taking care of everyone for today. Uh, so if you have any, we are starting you guys off on our lovely rosé. Uh, this is our welcome line for you guys. So our way of kind of introducing ourselves and just saying hello. Um, and then we'll get you guys onto the actual menu that you guys see sitting in front of you, okay? So that's our rosé of what we're starting off with, okay? And then we're gonna get you guys onto our Pinot, and then that will be our Petaluma, our Solomon Hills Pinot, our Unbound Eye of the Falcon, and then our Estate Cab as well, too, that you guys will be experiencing for today. Okay. And we do offer food, so if you guys are interested in food, the bottom portion is where that food is located. Okay. Uh, cheese and charcuterie for the larger group that you guys have, I definitely we suggest something like that, uh, cheese oh, yeah. and meat, okay. assorted fruits. It's kind of a fun mixture, but it's a decent yeah, size for a larger group. Okay. Uh, the hummus and uh, baba, uh, the lebna and the baba ganoush, incredible yeah. also as I well too. Uh, if you guys are looking for something for the table, and then our bounty salad. Yeah. Beautiful. May I have a cup of water? Yes. Oh, she doesn't see I'm the driver. Of yeah. course. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on fire. Uh, no, I could feel it though when I was pouring it, so let me give you a little bit more because I short poured you. Oh, okay. Um, just because I felt the flame getting to my fingertips. <laughs> I think you're right. I, I was like, right. I felt it in the fingertips a little bit, so I was like, okay. I think I got, yeah. Let her win, you know. <laughs> All right, guys. So, Petaluma Pino. Now, for us here in Paso, we used to grow Pinot pretty amazingly. It was actually one of our most common varietals that grew here in Paso. This is our cheese and charcuterie board. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about how the brothers are Lebanese and French. Mm -hmm. uh, the Dow last name is their last. Uh, the Dow name is their last name from the Lebanese culture. The last name is Dow, uh, which is a meaning of light. Um, and so why we light up the white onyx in the middle of the tasting room as well, that you guys will see in the middle of that tasting room as well too, okay? Uh, so we kind of incorporate kind of some fun cultures of both of those cultures of the Lebanese side and the French side. So French brie here, we have a triple cream brie that you guys are gonna have incredible, literally melts in your mouth. Um, we also have an Australia gold cheese, which is a raw cow cheese. It's almost like a Parmesan and a cheddar mixed together, but like a Gouda. Uh, we also have our baby blue with some of our estate honey. So we do focus on being biodynamic where we don't use chemicals or pesticides. We hand pick, we dry farm. Um, having bug hotels and beehives, super important for us. So incorporating a little bit of that honey that you guys are seeing there as well. We have non-bread, rosemary crackers, regular crackers, uh, crackers sticks and then we even have these salted sea salt crackers. We have our pepidus which are those peppers with a goat cheese and a lemon oil placed on top of it. We have some olives, we have some Americano almonds as well, some salami with some black peppercorn in there. We have our indoja, which is a kind of like a pork salami. It's got some like sun-dried uh, tomatoes in there. So it's got a little bit more of like a spicier side. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Dig in, enjoy. Thank if you. you guys need more of anything, do not be shy. Just let me know, okay? Thank you. No, there's more on. Oh, oh yeah. He's right next to it, so. <laughs> yeah, Beautiful. And now 
one should keep this water over here so it stays a little bit more oh. cooler. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Is it pretty yeah, creamy? Yeah. I am a little worried about it. Yeah. Is that the first one? Uh -huh. Okay. How is it? You did not take my first one. <laughs> It's a Mexican. My, I grew up eating it, but it reminds me of that. Really? Like, it's probably it's non butter. Um, okay, I'm surprised. You can't. <laughs> oh, you thought you were getting too much? You have one piece of salami. <laughs> that this green was like super aged mm -hmm. yeah i'm trying it and i actually like it yeah so it's actually a really good combo that you might really like is doing it with the pita bread mm -hmm. and doing it with the spicy feta and then the americana almond where it's that salty almond that you have there right there mm -hmm. the saltiness the feta cheese and then the indosia it's an awesome combo hey guys Solomon Hills Pinot, this is actually coming from Santa Maria. Uh, Santa Maria gets that good 80 to 90 degree temperature, uh, something that we used to consistently see here in the Paso Robles area. Uh, you know, we still, you know, get, you know, that intense. And the thing is, is that with Santa Maria, they get a coastal side from Santa Barbara, but they also get our coastal influence as well. Uh, so being able to grow Pinot the way that we are in this area is really incredible. With this, let's talk again about dark rich coloration. We're seeing that ruby or red, we're getting that plum we're getting that pomegranate a little bit more of that black cherry so element in there as well um, but with that it's really beautiful it's got you know that heavier body side we did go for a heavier percentage of oak so we didn't go for your standard seven months at 35 percent we actually did it for 11 months at 80 percent for any french I mean, at 80 percent 80 percent of time so 80 percent is the time period that it's going in the brand new french oak so how long it's sitting there so it's french sitting in there for barrel? the oak it's going for 11 months so it's sitting there for 11 months that wine sitting in that oak barrel now at 80 percent brand new french oak that means that we're using brand new oak at 80 percent so what does that mean at the remainder of 20 percent so we use neutral oak so we'll basically transfer from the french oak to a neutral oak which means a neutral oak has been used either once twice or three times uh, we typically don't use them after three times. We normally use them after one or two times, uh, but we do this because we want to be able uh, to take advantage of still having that time period in barrel, but with brand new French oak, that wine's absorbing all of that oak. So sometimes that oak can really overpower the wine, and so why we don't want it to overpower and give it the full 100% and 100% brand new French oak for 11 months. Why we do it at 80% where it just gets that perfect approach on it. And then you have a remainder of 20% that goes in the neutral oak, but still going for that 11 months as well. And you figured out incredible. all these percentages by trial and error. Correct. Okay. Trial and error. That's the only way that you're going to be able to do that. Okay. So there's <laughs> Kind of tweak it. Have you, you, have you hired the, the taster? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure that. <laughs> How do you volunteer? <laughs> right? Um, volunteer to do production or pull in fruits during that time. And I've done my field work already. Right? <laughs> <laughs> good. Good. Which one yeah. did you like between the two? Was it kind of mixed or did we all kind of agree? I think I like the first one. I like the first, one. Like the first like one too. Yeah, the first okay, one. so it seems like we're all moving towards the first. I'm bound. It's 2019. It's a few years old. I'm bound to. Oh, I know I'm bound. Yeah, this one's an awesome one. So we're actually blending Spanish and French together, which is completely frowned upon, especially in France. Now, Petit Sirah and Tanat are really known for having really dark, rich coloration. That actually comes from that Tanat as well. So do expect to see a little bit more body. I do expect to see a little bit more tannins um, and a little bit more structure that's going to kind of pull forward into that palette that you guys will definitely capture at the front end of the front of your palette. Now, the Champagneau is that Spanish varietal that is supposed to spice the Things up, bring out that temperiness, bring out that smokier side in there as well too. But it's also supposed to tone down the structures from the Petite Syrah and the Tanat as well. Uh, so bless you. Uh, so it's not supposed to be super overwhelmed, bless you. Um, so with it, um, it's our way to kind of bring out a balance with overpowering the wine too much. Now, I give this three steps. The first one kind of shocks you a little bit because it's got a lot going on. Uh, but by the second one, you're kind of like, okay, I can kind of see where that palette's going. But by that third, 
you will really fully understand that wine inside and out, which is really incredible. Um, I love to barbecue with this wine, so if you guys are huge into barbecuing, try to ribs, pulled pork, uh, brisket, chorizo burgers, burgers in general, pasta, pizza. Really amazing with this oh, wine. Wow. That's something that's really incredible with the Unbound. I feel like the Unbound's been definitely one of those wines that I can bring time after time in group settings and everybody falls in love with it. So pretty incredible. New World and Old World together. Now, Old World we discussed is giving that time, allowing that wine to properly find itself in bottle and giving it that proper aging capability. That's what more Old World elements are more made for. Now, with that, a lot of winemakers are transitioning from new uh, Old World to New World. Uh, just because it seems like a lot of winemakers or a lot of people are looking for that drink now. They're looking for getting that bottle, going home, appreciating it at that moment, or at least within a three to five year window is when they're really gonna appreciate that wine. That's what most new world elements are really made for, is for that drink now. There's a good 80% of people that are looking for that drink now, and there's only that 20% of people that are willing to age wines. And so with that very popular, the licorice, the gore, the minerality, the fantastic herbs, this is phenomenal structure and tannins. I mean, they are talking about cat here. So we better see that here in perspective. This is all this what's in is, the grape. Mm -hmm. Not that you're adding it after the grape. Is. No. This so, is all what's in the grape. Correct. Those characteristics that you're supposed to see with the each clone that we're using. So one could be fruit forward. One could be more darker and rich in coloration and heavier tannins and not carry as much fruit. Mm -hmm. But why each clone is specified for the unique characteristics that it has. This is that perfect in between, which I think is really beautiful and well done on, you know, Daniel's behalf. Uh, just because for being a 19, I've never, ever, ever have ever seen our 19s being this capable, um, this approachable for being blended with five different cups. So uh, have you done the process of putting it in that decanter? and letting it aerate and you breathe. notice a significant difference oh yeah you see that little bit of that dryness mm -hmm. on the back side the little bit of tannins where you kind of see it at the mm -hmm. front as it gets to the middle right here you can see it's a little drier mm -hmm. but as it goes down it's super smooth yes. right so with that when you do let it aerate and decant that's just going to ease out all of that bitterness and that dryness that you're seeing so it's just going to be smooth at that point how many hours into it uh, right, how many hours into well, how, it? Yeah, what three do you, hours what you, you can do three to five if you want. You don't have to do the full five to seven hours. Oh, so. no matter when you decan, it's right. Re it's recommended five to seven, no matter oh, what. Got it. No, no, no matter what year. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter what year. So if someone tells you seven to ten years or five to seven years on aging oh, this wine, I use the year methods oh, for our hour methods. Gotcha. But you could give this three to five hours if you wanted to. If that's all the time that you have of three hours, even three hours is going to make a huge but difference. Recommend I know what those things are. I've seen them. Yeah. Yeah, this one's pretty good. It is. So imagine with like a blue cheese right here, where it's going to kind of tilt it down. <laughs> 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 I don't know. 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 I don't like a ribeye mm -hmm. or, or, you know, rib something, eye. yeah. You got me on that. Something real rich. This, this thing here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There yep. you go. Thank you.